Hey, we're back. This is Kevin Fear. This is Pillow Talk, a show about sleep. This is our final segment of the show. God willing, we'll be back at it next week. If you have comments, um, questions, um, criticisms, you can email me at pillowtalkquestion at gmail.com. If you want to reach my stores, you can call 1-800-NEW-BEDS during business hours. That will connect you to the closest store. Um, if you have specific questions, you can go, you can call, you can visit a store, no appointment necessary. You can go to mattressexpressny.com if you want to learn more about us, see what our current promotions are, our current sales, what brands we carry. You can chat online during business hours live with my staff and uh, do a little more research on my company. Um, if you find a bed you like locally, bring in, bring it in, bring in a quote. If I can beat the price, I'll beat it. Um, we carry all the brands. Nobody has all the brands under one roof that we have. That's the big thing. You know, with the stuff that we carry, you can go to one store and you can see their brand of number bed. You can go to another store and they might have some Tempur-Pedic. Um, you can go to another store and they may have Stearns and Foster, maybe some Sealy. Some places will say they carry purple, but we're the only retailer in our areas that has the full line of purple. There's nine different purple mattresses. How could you possibly buy that online when there's nine different mattresses? How would you possibly know which one you like? Puffy, we're the only one in this market with Puffy. Puffy's a big online retailer. We're their largest independent retailer in the country. Number bed by Instant Comfort, what I believe to be the best number bed on the planet, a 25-year industry-leading warranty, okay? Great bed, 45 individual settings on each side from super soft to super firm. The flex head, where each head goes up and down independently in king or queen, okay? We have personal comfort, which is made by the same company, has all the same features, but it's a different feel. We have Posh and Lavish. We're the only one in upstate New York with Posh and Lavish. Ultra luxury bedding. Um, full latex mattress. I'm sleeping on one right now. It's like you're floating in water. It's unbelievable. But give us a try. Um, today, we're going to talk about an article in this segment from the sleepfoundation.org. And it's tips. It's 20 tips on how to sleep better. I don't know if we'll get through all 20, but we're going to give it a stab. Um, if you're not sleeping well, if you're waking up in pain, if you're waking up sore, it's pro you probably need a new mattress. That's just the reality of it. And their first tip is invest in a better mattress and bedding. It's so true. It's not just the mattress. It's the proper sheets. It's the proper pillow. But it says, having the best mattress for your needs and preferences is vital in making sure that you're comfortable enough to relax. Investing in a supportive mattress and pillow helps ensure that your spine gets proper support to avoid aches and pains. Your sheets, see, I didn't even read this at a time. Your sheets and bl blankets pay a play a major role in helping your bed feel inviting. Look for bedding that feels comfortable to the touch that will help you maintain a comfortable temperature during the night. All right, number two, block out light. Excessive light exposure can throw off your sleep and circadian rhythm. Blackout curtains over your windows or a sleep mask over your eyes can block light to prevent it from interfering with your rest. Minimize noise. Keep noise to a minimum is an important part of building a sleep friendly bedroom. These are 20 tips on getting a better night's sleep from the sleepfoundation.org. Set the thermostat to 65 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. You do not want a bedroom temperature to be a distracted distraction by feeling too hot or cold. I don't know about you. I like a cool bedroom at night, especially in the summer. I love the fall when you can open the windows and it's, you know, low 60 or mid 60s and you can sleep at night. That's me. I think that's I think that's a personal decision. Get at least seven hours of sleep. Amen. If you want to make sure you're getting the recommended amount of sleep each night, then you need to build that time into your schedule. Considering your fixed wake up time, work backward and identify a target bedtime that allows for at least seven hours of sleep. I sleep seven to eight hours. Um, I think that's pretty normal for most adults from the things I've read. Uh, set your alarm for the same time each day. Yeah, I do that. You know, I, and my, I just wake up now at the same time of day. It's close to impossible for your body to get accustomed to a healthy sleep routine. If you're constantly waking up at different times, pick a wake up time and stick with it. Uh, keep naps around 20 minutes. I don't normally nap, but it says to sleep better at night is important to use caution with naps. If you nap for too long or too late in the day, it can throw off your sleep schedule. Yeah, it makes sense. 
This is uh, something else we've talked about before. Relax for 30 minutes before bed. Get a uh, uh, um, routine before you go to bed. It's much easier to fall asleep if you're at ease. Quiet reading, low-impact stretching, listening to soothing music, and relaxation exercises are examples of ways to get into the right frame of mind for sleep. Makes sense. Disconnect devices in the hour before bed. Yeah, we just talked about this in a previous segment. Tablets, smartphones, and laptops can keep your brain wired, making it hard to truly wind down. Get 30 minutes. Oh, this is interesting. Get 30 minutes of natural light exposure. The body's internal clock is regulated by light exposure. Sunlight has a strong effect, so try to take in daylight by getting outside or opening up windows or blinds to natural light. Getting a dose of natural light early in the day can help. I think that's what they're saying. And early in the day can help normalize your circadian rhythm. Because at night, when it gets darker, your body starts making melatonin, which helps you sleep better. Exercise for at least 20 minutes each day. Nobody wants to hear this, right? Daily exercise has many benefits for help, and it changes and initiates in energy use and body temperature can provide solid sleep. Limit caffeine after 2 p.m. Caffeinated drinks, including coffee, tea, and sodas, are among the most popular beverages in the world. Some people are tempted to use the jolt of energy from caffeine to try to overcome daytime sleepiness. But that approach is not sustainable and can cause long-term sleep deprivation. Be mindful of alcohol in the hour before bedtime. Alcohol can induce drowsiness. Some people are keen on a nightcap before bed. Unfortunately, alcohol affects the brain in ways that can lower sleep quality, making it best to avoid alcohol in the lead up to bedtime. Um, it says here, low amounts of alcohol decrease decrease sleep quality by 9.3%, moderate by 24. High amounts of alcohol can decrease your sleep quality by 39%. Eat dinner a few hours before bed. It can be harder to fall asleep if your body is still digesting a big dinner. To keep food-based sleep disruptions to a minimum, try to avoid late dinners. Limit nicotine use and smoke exposure. Exposure to smoke, including secondhand smoke, has been associated with a range of sleeping problems, including Difficulty falling asleep and fragmented sleep. These are all things we don't want to hear, but they're all true. Reserve your bed for sleep and sex only. If you have a comfortable bed, you may be tempted to spend your time in it, but this can actually cause problems at bedtime. You want a strong mental association between your bed and sleep. Get out of bed after 20 minutes. If you want to avoid a connection in your mind between your bed and frustration from sleepiness, this means you've spent about 20 minutes in bed without sleeping, without being able to fall asleep, it is best to get out of bed and do something relaxing in low light. Keep a sleep diary. Huh. A sleep daily sleep journal can help you keep track of how well you are sleeping and identify factors that might be helping or hurting your sleep. Consider supplements. In addition to improving your overall sleep hygiene, you may want to discuss the use of supplements with your doctor. Melatonin supplements are commonly used to shorten the time it takes to fall asleep. And last but not least, talk with a doctor. Your doctor is in the best position to offer detailed and personalized advice if you experience serious difficulty sleeping. This is an article on the sleepfoundation.org. Great website for sleep information. Those were 20 tips on how to get a better night's sleep. This is Kevin Fear. This is Pillow Talk, a show about sleep. And this is what we do. We talk about sleep. We talk about ways to get a better night's sleep. We talk about mattresses. We talk about sheets. We talk about adjustable bases. We talk about pillows. I love your questions. Email me at pillowtalkquestion at gmail.com. Uh, when you're in the market for your next sleep system, all I ask is that you give us a, a try. Come into one of my stores. There's never an appointment necessary. All locations are at mattressexpressny.com. It's a very low pressure experience. We, <clears throat> we are your brand name superstore. Nobody it's going to have all the brands under one roof. We have all the technologies under one roof, but nobody has all the brands under one roof that we do. Tempur-Pedic, Stearns & Foster, Sealy Hybrid, Purple, Puffy, the number bed by Instant Comfort, the number bed by Personal Comfort, Therapeutic, Posh and & Lavish, and more, more. And you can drive around to a bunch of different stores and see these, or you can just try them side by side in my store. You can try the number bed, then you can compare it to purple, the grid. Then you can try a hybrid by Sealy. Then you can try the Tempur-Pedic material. Then you can try latex on Posh and Lavish and find out what you really like, what's really comfortable for you, and then we'll make it affordable for you. You can call 1-800-NEW-BEDS during business hours or go to mattressexpressny.com. This wraps up this show of Pillow Talk. Thanks for joining us this week. God willing, we'll be back at it next week. And you can check us out at mattressexpressny.com.